understand what you're talking about. So we have client presentations, we have uh, agent presentations, a complete turnkey platform for indexed universal life. And uh, we also put together a contest. So whoever is on today's call that writes their first application, okay, after today's call wins a free 16 gig tablet. So uh, just a little way of us saying thank you for taking the time to, to be on today's call. You're also going to get an email after the webinar is over that's going to give you all of the material, brochures, and information that Troy and, and Joe and myself are going to talk about today. So everything will be at your fingertips. And of course, if you have any questions at all, uh, please don't hesitate to give us a call about uh, anything that you're about to see. So me and Joe are going to start off. We're just going to talk quickly about our expo, our upcoming training webinars. We're going to show you a tool that's available to you at no charge that will help you sell Index Universal Life. And then we're going to dive into Troy's presentation. So we have some great stuff to go over today. Uh, just quickly, I'm going to mention our expo. Every year, we feature a, we call it the Levinson Annual Agent Expo in South Florida at our beachfront location. And every year, we make this bigger and better. We bring in all of our top carriers from across the country, our top underwriters, and, and we really try to focus on new sales ideas and concepts that you can take away from the expo that evening to start making more sales. We don't want to bore you with different carrier financials and ratings and, you know, let's face it, you can go anywhere to hear that stuff. We want you to walk away with new ideas, new motivation, so you could start making more sales that evening. And, so far, we think that we've been pretty successful. Definitely a day you don't want to miss, free to everyone. We bring in breakfast, lunch, uh, snacks. And then what we even did is we have a qualification level, starting at just 15000 of paid premium, where you get one free night at our beachfront resort, and or we bring you in from anywhere around the country, pay for round-trip airfare and up to two free nights at the resort. And all life premium, long-term care, disability, and annuity premium counts towards those qualification levels. And if you're brand new with us, again, the expo is free for you to attend. So a day that you will not forget and you really don't want to miss. So with that said, I'm going to introduce uh, Joseph Lockwood. He's going to talk about our upcoming training webinars, our contests, and then we're going to introduce Troy, who will take it from there. Joe? Thanks, Bill. Um, as usual, today's call is being recorded, so everybody on, on today's call will actually receive the link uh, later this afternoon. I do want to mention a couple upcoming webinars uh, that we have going on. The first one you'll see is actually for the 10th. We're recovering business expense DI 101. That's at 11 a.m. Eastern, uh, of course, on March 10th. On Wednesday, which is the 11th, at 4 p.m. Eastern, we're actually covering some North American indexed annuity products. We're going to be going through the training. Josh Hoffman in our office actually heads up our annuity division. He is at extension 23. So Josh can be reached to actually help you with illustration, sales concepts, anything having to do with our annuity division. And then Thursday, which is the 12th at 2 p.m. Eastern, we're covering our e-policy delivery platform uh, where you can actually electronically deliver a life policy the same day it gets approved. Uh, so not only are you going to save time and money, uh, you're also going to be able to get that client covered much faster. So that's a great platform to check out. You'll also receive a link to our YouTube channel. We have about 85 different videos on our YouTube channel, and anything from you know Index Universal Life, Index Annuities 101, to how to run a quote on our back office agent website. So you can go to YouTube, type in Levinson and the number one, and you'll be able to access every single video that's on there. As Bill mentioned, we have a special tablet giveaway for everybody on today's call. The way it works is the first North American IUL submitted after today's webinar, and again, this is only for the attendees of today's call, the first IUL application submitted with North American will win the tablet. Once that policy actually goes in force, then we'll mail you that tablet. So a great concept, uh, again, only for today's attendees. So you have a great chance of winning that tablet. We'll send it directly to you, um, again, as soon as that policy goes in force. 
Uh, we also want to take a second to mention our Cash for Contracting Incentive Program. This is basically something we do if you're already appointed with one of our carriers with another agency or another IMO, we'll actually match or beat your existing contract, plus you have a chance to win up to $400 of extra compensation. So you can do the basically up to three different carriers. Uh, if you're, again, if you're already appointed, you can reappoint with our office. We'll match or beat that commission level and then actually give you an additional bonus uh, just as a little thank you for your business. Um, I'm going to roll right into some IndexUL resources. You know, of course, we're all familiar with IndexUL, at least a little bit. Uh, we know there's a lot of different products out there, a lot of different information, and it can kind of become over overwhelming at times. So what we've done is on the carrylevinson.com website, we actually designed the quote tab. As you can see from the orange box, you can actually request a permanent life quote request, uh, an IndexUL product. Our marketing team will get that request and we'll actually run all illustrations, send them back out to you with a brochure, the application. As long as we receive that request before 4 p.m. Eastern time, you'll actually receive it the same exact day. So you have the ability to reach out to the website, submit that quote request. Uh, we have full-time marketing people here just specifically to run illustrations and make sure you're getting the most competitive product. Um, also, I wanted to mention after today's phone call, in the email that you're going to receive, you're also going to have access to North American Sales Concepts website. I've posted a shortened link at the bottom of the page, which of course you don't need to write down because you'll be receiving everything via email. But one of the great things uh, that we're going to be covering today, uh, specifically with North American, is with, when you look at any one of their sales concepts, say we're going over the smart money concept, they have actually created an agent checklist, agent guides, consumer presentations, uh, brochures, case studies, everything you need to actually take the concept and run with it, which I think is excellent. North American did a great job. Again, you have access to those websites, even if you're not an appointed agent. Uh, so we'll get that link out to you this afternoon. You can take a look 24-7 and really become familiar with that sales concept before you actually look for prospects or bring it to your existing clients to go over that scenario. Another great resource which we're going to be sending out in today's email is the Innsmark Sales Platform. This is basically a software program normally costs about $800 to actually get the software program. We're going to send it to you at absolutely no cost just for being a Levinson agent. The Innsmark software program is really unique. It actually allows you to run an illustration and then with the click of a button export all that information that's in that illustration software into the Innsmark program. Now what you'll be able to do uh, is actually create a customized presentation for your client on any given concept. And I've just highlighted a couple uh, that are available with the Innsmark software, but it really takes what is normally a difficult to read illustration, and you can see from some of the screenshots in the bottom of the page here, it actually makes that very, very easy for the client to understand. So, you know, if you ever looked at an Index UL illustration, it's not very consumer friendly. Um, the Innsmark software platform really takes all that data, breaks it down, makes it very easy to understand from the client level. Again, that's only about an $800 value, and we're going to send you out the software download link today. Um, of course, at no charge just for being a Levinson agent. Uh, real quickly here, before I introduce Troy, I want to talk a little bit more about North American. You know, North American is really our go-to IUL company, um, and as Troy will kind of go through some of the different products that are available, you know, they've really positioned the IUL products to be competitive, not only with the underwriting, but also cash value growth. Uh, there's some neat little product tweaks that we've been able to illustrate over the years. We're really, really confident in North American's ability to really put together an IUL that makes sense. Uh, so I won't take away any of Troy's thunder, but um, I'm going to introduce him in a minute here. Today we're covering that smart money sales concept. Uh, we're talking about the death benefit protection, cash value growth, and access to the actual funds and the cash value inside of the product. Uh, so without further ado, I'm actually going to introduce Troy. Uh, as our presenter from North American, Troy is a sales development specialist. Uh, and I'll actually switch over the screen here to Troy. And uh, again, thank you everyone for joining us. And Troy, if you can hear me, we can actually see your screen. So uh, whenever you're ready, we appreciate you taking the time to be on the call today. Very good. Thank you, Joseph. And thank you, Bill. And uh, yeah, we have a large crowd today, so we appreciate everybody's time. Um, I always like to start off with a weather update, being I'm in sunny Balmy, Fargo, North Dakota. Right now our temp is warmed up to a 15 degree plateau and we are at windshield uh, with the wind 17 miles per hour at negative one. So hopefully that will brighten your day wherever you are. So 
with that said, we'll get into the presentation, which uh, Joseph talked, we're going to talk about the smart money sale today. You know, and I want to start by describing a conversation, you know, that many of you may have had while, you know, working in the insurance and financial industry. You know, you're sitting down with a client doing a financial review or needs analysis, and you come across a financial vehicle with, you know, sizable funds. You ask a simple question, what is that for? A lot of the times the client's going to respond with, well, nothing. I don't plan on using that unless I have to. Um, I'll probably just leave it for my heirs. You know, think about how many of you have, have had that similar conversation. A lot of the times it comes up in a policy review. Well, when that conversation occurs, you probably just continue on with the review without knowing, you know, there's actually a sales concept available that can provide more for the heirs and generally tax-free and also better cash value growth potential, um, all while maintaining accessibility of funds. So if you could provide such a, such a solution for your clients, you know, would they be interested? And today we're going to discuss that solution. We call it the smart money sale and, you know, how this concept is going to provide your clients a death benefit protection with also that financial stability. So here's an agenda for today's session. You know, what do we mean by smart money? What are the client's objectives with regard to smart money? And then how can life insurance be a potential solution for some of those clients? And then we'll wrap up with some tips and talking points. You know, what do we mean by the term smart money? Um, basically, smart money to us is funds that clients, they want to retain as both accessible and with limited exposure to the loss of value or principal. These are funds clients want to have control over in the event they may need it. So here are some examples of smart money. Annuities, the money market accounts, savings accounts, um, those are all typically assets that are readily accessible with limited exposure to loss. Um, of course, there may be some penalties or charges in access and early but they are generally accessible with loss potential of a known limit. You know, these are assets that may be immediately recognizable for this life insurance sales concept. And another potential asset may be like a recent windfall or inheritance. You know, often those funds are sitting in some sort of smart money vehicle waiting to be placed into something more suitable for the given financial situation. So what do the clients typically want, you know, their smart money to do? Well, often this money is not needed for current income, and it's ultimately going to go to the benefit of the client's heirs. Um, the first objective is to maximize the benefit for the heirs while retaining control should the client need access to the money. So while helping to maximize the benefit for the heirs, clients want that financial protection during the working years while also leveraging assets into a larger estate for later years. So since this is smart money, um, the second objective is to retain access to the funds, whether that's for you know, an emergency or unexpected need, things of that nature. And it could even be for some future need that uh, may or may not occur, but has not yet been identified. So a third objective would be a competitive return. You know, returns could be identified by the return of eventual benefit for the heirs or the performance potential, um, you know, the accessible cash value or perhaps both. Competitive returns, they need to be measured in context of other smart money vehicles. Um, and we previously mentioned that. So, you know, how can life insurance accomplish these objectives we talked about. Well, we got to remember, the court, you know, of course, the main aspect of life insurance is that death benefit. Um, a transfer of smart money funds to a product like the Rapid Builder, IUL, Index Universal Life Insurance, that can provide a non-guaranteed death benefit for the client's heirs. Um, this generates a death benefit protection for family during the working years and an estate building benefit for heirs during retirement years. Um, another objective the client um, had, remember, was access to that cash value. Um, because the Rapid Builder IUL has no premium load, along with that optional waiver surrender charge option, which we'll talk about, the product can have excellent access to early cash value, the surrender. Additionally, when used with the CVAT, um, which is an acronym for the cash value accumulation test, the death benefit can be kept low relative to premium, which that helps control the cost of insurance charges, keeps the COIs low. Um, all of this will help provide as much cash value access as possible in the early policy years. In North America's products here, we also have a chronic illness benefit. Um, while a client's goal for smart money may be to generate a benefit for their heirs while still retaining that access to the funds, um, common concern we're running into for many is the need of funds in the event of emergency. So with the chronic illness benefit, the client may be able to access the death benefit in the event of a chronic illness condition. And of course, long-term performance, that was an objective as well. Uh, with the interest rate bonus, which is contractually guaranteed on the index account and conditionally guaranteed on the fixed account, the potential cash value growth that's even further enhanced. The Rapid Builder IUL illustration, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, that'll demonstrate the potential for a competitive return 
when looking at the death benefit and or the cash surrender value. So here's an illustration we had talked about, and let's take a look at this. As you can see, this is a male, standard, non-tobacco, with the waiver of surrender charge option. The product is a rapid builder IUL using the CVAT, the cash value accumulation test. Um, the premium is 200000 and what we did here was we specified the death benefit. It has to be relative, relevant or more to the premium going into the policy. This one we specified at 508000 That met you know, his needs of leveraging that premium into a larger amount for the heirs. The first thing we look at with life insurance is the death benefit. Here again, I said, is this over half a million. On the far right column, we see the death benefit is projected to grow. That is because the policy is heavily funded, and the CVAT, the test itself, is requiring the death benefit to be increased to accommodate that funding level. And since this is a client smart money, he also had concerns about access to its, you know, as much of that cash as possible. This illustration is reflected in three columns of performance. On the far left is the guaranteed interest rate and the guaranteed COIs, cost of insurance. The second column, which is labeled the non-guaranteed alternate, that uses current cost of insurance, and that has a variable interest rate assumption. Um, the interest rate can be changed to reflect the guaranteed rate on the far right, or the left to a rate as high as 2% less than the rate used on the far right. That was the non-guaranteed column. In this one, I've chosen to show the 3% minimum, and then the third one, that's the non-guaranteed one, that one I've got at 7.5%. You know, of course, a big part of accessibility to the funds is overcoming surrender charge concern. Um, this one, you can clearly see the waiver of surrender charge option at work as account value and the surrender value show equal amounts. Um, this helps with one of their main goals, that smart money, remember, access to the funds if needed. Question comes up, what about limited exposure to loss, um, as well as that potential for the cash value growth? Even under the worst case scenario, over 90% of the client's premium paid would be accessible as surrender value for at least the first 10 years. The center non-guaranteed alternate column, which again is illustrated here at 3%, indicates that unless cost of insurance COIs are changed, regardless of interest rate performance, the surrender value would exceed the premium paid in this example for a number of years. And then in the third section, which in this one again, 7.5%, that shows an example of the potential cash value growth along with death benefit growth. So let's look at a few more items um, that I wanted to kind of point out related to this illustration. As a reminder, this is, again, the CVAT version, not the guideline premium test, CVAT. What that, again, allows is the policy to be funded at a level that may not be possible under the guideline premium test. Thus, we have a very low initial face amount given the premium paid. Of course, we do need to make sure that the death benefit is large enough to meet the client's you know, death benefit needs while balancing his desire to retain that access to the money. And as a single premium, this is a modified endowment contract, a MEC. So gains in the policy could be taxable if surrendered or distributions are taken. And then additionally, distributions prior to 59 and a half may result in a tax penalty. Keep in mind, this is not all that different than the tax treatment of an annuity. Of course, a death benefit here, that retains its tax advantage status on a MEC. And then this illustration also indicates that the chronic um, illness accelerated death benefit right, is present on this case. And just again, that allows for the acceleration of death benefit um, in the event the client qualifies for it. Basically provides another, you know, additional peace of mind knowing there's more ways to access a death benefit in such an event. So how about competitive performance? Well, this is an internal rate of return report for that same illustration. This is available on our software as a supplemental report. Um, the columns to take particular note are the death benefit IRR and the surrender value IRR. You know, in the short term, the client's most likely concerned about the IRR of the death benefit. You know, what if death occurs in the near future? You may ask, well, then as we get further along in the policy, the client will likely be looking to see if the cash value IR is competitive or meets his needs. This illustration is showing an IR of around 6%. You know, ultimately, we're all mortal. You know, we'll agree on that at some point. The death benefit column will once again come into play. So as you can see, the death benefit is larger than the surrender value and thus demonstrates a larger IR. And of course, with death benefit generally being tax-free, that number has even more value compared to a taxable return. So here's another variation. So you know we might have those clients who are even more concerned about access to the cash surrender value. The death benefit can manu it can manually be reduced to a smaller amount. Remember that other one we had 508. This one I used 300,000 as a death benefit with the same 200,000 going in. Although the CVAT test caused the death benefit amount to increase immediately at issue, if the guaranteed performance columns, if they presented them, you know themselves as reality, 
um, the death benefit would be allowed to decrease. So this a reduction in death benefit in the poor performing years can result in um, lower cost of insurance charges than a level benefit of, in that situation, half a million or more. Thus, the cash surrender value, that can be even more compelling. So in this example, we're showing a guaranteed return of premium for at least 10 years. Um, so you may want to dial down the death benefit to meet the client's desired surrender value in the guaranteed or middle columns. Keep in mind, lower death benefit also impacts the target premium. So looking at the rapid builder, did it meet the client's objectives? Well, did it leave a benefit for the heirs? Yeah, that's the purpose of life insurance, and it does it actually very well. Access to funds, yeah, we demonstrated significant cash surrender value. You know, access as well as the value benefits, um, such as the chronic in this situation. And then competitive returns. That's why I showed that IR report. That gave us a great example of the potential returns. So here's some things to think about. We've got the MEC status. Um, since this is often funded as a single premium, it is likely that it would be a modified endowment contract. They need to be aware of the tax impact of this. This honestly frightens agents more than clients. Sometimes a MEC is a disadvantage, but sometimes it's actually a good thing. In this concept, the MEC status allowed us to illustrate much better access to the funds and they weren't eaten up by those excessive charges. But yeah, there might be a taxable significance, but that needs to be balanced with objectives. CVAT, um, a key way to you know, gain access to the highest maximum cash, cash value was having that minimal death benefit while, we'll, you know, while we're still meeting the client's needs. That CVAT allowed the funding levels that, they're, again, they're not possible under the guideline premium test. So when using CVAT, typically the illustrations will, they're gonna provide the most compelling results using CVAT and using the level death benefit option. And then again, we've got that waiver of surrender charge option. That provided a very attractive early cash, you know, access to that cash value by eliminating any surrender charges for anything other than an outgoing 1035. Um, that waiver of surrender charge option also includes a table shape feature where a client can, up, can get up to table three um, through standard. So case study we saw earlier at standard rates, that would look the exact same for a client who would have been rated table three. So that can be particularly helpful for clients who are not perfectly healthy. Um, of course, the agent also needs to be aware that the election of that benefit, that reduces target premium. So another thing, too, is you know consider how we want to show that middle, non-guaranteed alternate assumptions. That example earlier I showed 3%. That was our guaranteed interest rate over the life of the policy. However, you may also want to choose um, to show even a little bit more conservative rate instead. This column must show rates at least 2% lower than that non-guaranteed rate used. That was at 7.5% I used. So if you're at 7.5, you have to be at 5.5, you're at 7, 5, and so forth. Um, one more discussion on commissions. If the premium is over 250000 we will require a commission option B. Um, this is a commission that's spread out over a period of years rather than more of an upfront traditional style. And then the waiver of surrender charge option also requires a three-year chargeback. Um, it's 100% for the first year, 75 for the second, 25 for the third. However, the client can take withdrawals up to 10% of the cumulative premiums paid without causing a chargeback. Keyword there, too, is cumulative, folks. If they, let's say they miss the first and second year, that third year they could have 30% available to them without you getting charged back. So it's a very liquid contract, um, kind of like an annuity. You get the 10% free withdrawals without incurring that chargeback. I do want to touch on something here real quick, too. You know, another product that may work um, very well for this concept is the custom growth CV. While I showed the Rapid Builder IUL, an index earlier, um, the custom growth is a fixed UL, and that has many of the same features and benefits. You know, and some people may be more comfortable using a fixed UL product rather than an index product for their smart money sales. So this illustration reflects the same client age, same premium amount, but just a different product, the custom growth. Um, here we can see the current interest rate, rates, which also reflect the conditionally guaranteed interest rate bonuses. The custom growth also includes that optional waiver surrender charge rider, which is so useful for this concept. Um, unlike the Rapid Builder IUL, the custom growth has a premium expense charge, so values may be lower in those early years. However, the custom growth has an interesting feature that the Rapid Builder doesn't have, and it's a premium bonus. Um, this bonus is applied after the 10th year for a five-year period, and that can you know, help generate additional cash value. So North American, we do have two products for the smart money concept, the rapid builder and then the custom growth. You know, don't forget about our great, you know, the 
the smart money sales concept, um, Joseph touched on that. This includes you know, the client, the agent pieces, worksheets, checklists, case studies, um, so much more. We have customized postcards agents can get on the website. We customize those free of charge. They're laminated two sides. You can order up to 250 at a time. The only thing you would pay is postage when you send them out to your clients. So we'll customize those for all of our sales concepts. And basically our goal with these concepts is, and the kits I should say, is take you from point A to point B and beyond, you know, when discussing this idea with your clients. So we covered a lot of information on the smart money sales concept. You know, we defined what smart money is. We discussed what the common client objectives are for the smart money concept. And then we gave two product options that are very marketable for the smart money concept. Finally, we'll touch on some important or finally we did touch on some important illustration and product options, and those are key in presenting an attractive smart money illustration. The bottom line, client, what does a client get? Well, death benefit protection, accessible cash value, outstanding growth potential. Um, you as an agent, you get a smart money alternative, and you get the support and re you know, resources to help grow business. Here's what you know. Here's what I suggest you do immediately while it's still fresh. You know, call three clients um, now that meet the client criteria, age 50 to 80. They have that death benefit need. They have available smart money funds. Um, they have that desire for cash value accessibility. You know, secondly, don't wait to call. Call, call while the idea is still fresh in your mind. You know, and finally, when you're meeting with the client, illustrate for them how the North American products can provide everything they're looking for for that smart money vehicle and more. So with that said, um, I think we'll, we'll stop the recording and hand it back over to Joe here. And we can open it up, Joe, if you like, for any questions, um, questions and answer sessions, if you like. Absolutely. Thank you. What we're going to do uh, is just due to the number of callers, uh, we're actually going to close out the call for today. But of course, everybody will receive an email with the recording link. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our office. Uh, again, you'll receive the marketing material, the recording of the webinar. Troy, I want to thank you for taking the time to join us today. And of course, I want to thank all the Levinson agents for taking the time as well. I posted our contact information. So for any questions, uh, please feel free to email us or give us a call. Uh, we'll be glad to help you out. Troy, thank you again. And yes, uh, thank to you, everybody Joseph. on the call, absolutely. Uh, stay warm, of course. I know you said it's, uh, it's pretty <laughs> chilly there. So appreciate the time. And uh, thank you, everybody. Take care. Thank you, everybody.